on it. I'm going to review fucking Taco Bell. That's right. Taco Bell. Uh, it's been in our hearts the whole time or, or in our arteries of our hearts. I don't know what's the best way to say that. But uh, I have a lot of feelings about Taco Bell and I'm going to review two of their best-selling tacos. Now, that's the kind of hard thing to do. What I want to do for each episode is I want to go to the place and ask the person at the drive-thru, what is their best-selling item? Uh, I did that and and I the guy was like, cheesy Cordita Crunch. And I was like, well, I don't review Cordita Crunches. Usually I do tacos. So what's your best-selling taco? And he said, the Doritos Loco Taco. And I told him to give me one of those and also to give me just a regular beef taco. I will say something about Taco Bell. As a Latino person, I do have a love-hate relationship with Taco Bell. Uh, I think it's funny. I just said the word cheesy gordito crunch as a Latino person who knows Spanish. Uh, Spanish. I don't know why I got like, I don't know why I fell into uh, SAP subtitle all of a sudden. But um, it's it's a kind of weird place. I mean, I loved it in college. Uh, I love, I haven't, I actually went off of it for a long time. I, I had said, this, this doesn't do it for me anymore. But um, I'm going to review it right here and I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to, I'm going to do my honest take on it. It's their best seller. Um, I think Taco Bell is very popular. It's one of the best, like most popular fast food taco places ever. Um, so we're going to try it out um, on our Boila scale of tacos. Uh, I do like it that um, when you get their tacos, they seal it up for your safety. So that's cool. So we're going to open this up. There we go. And we're, we got two tacos, like I said. Let's see how they how they held up as I was waiting to set up my whole little get up here. So here's the Doritos Locos taco. And here's the regular taco. All right. So we're going to review these tacos on a scale of one through ten abuelas. Um, let's take a bite real quick of the plain old taco. This is the plain uh, plain Jane, Taco Bell, everyday kind of thing. This is, you know, if you were to go Taco Bell, by the way, which is like, I think his name. I think that's called like Taco Bell. Like it's like if I had a place, it'd be like Taco Mascoro. That's what it'd be called. And technically my parents' restaurant was called Mascoro, so maybe it would have been. But we're gonna take a bite of this taco and see how it tastes. Here's the plain taco. It's gotten a little cold from waiting me setting up everything. Just got the standard beef, lettuce and cheese. I do like the price of the taco. That goes in, that's one of the factors of this whole venture. The price of the regular taco, just a buck twenty-nine. You know, if you're hungry and you want a taco, can't get much cheaper than that. I mean, even at the taquerias, you're gonna pay like two twenty-five or something like that. But it's not the bells and whistles. There's no, there's no. It's definitely like when you're learning as a kid how to draw, and they don't, they don't start off by giving you like map colors or oil paints. They give you crayons and they give you like, you know, they give you. Uh, just paper that they're definitely going to throw away later. Your parents just give you paper that they're definitely going to throw away and be like, here, ruin this. And that's basically what Taco Bell is. It's just like the beginner's taco. Um, I, I will say from right off the bat, still crunchy from, from hanging out for a little bit uh, while I was setting this whole thing up. Still crunchy. Um, congealed, so it's not really fault. And it's not their fault. I've had it before. Everyone knows, you know, you got to eat Taco Bell right away or, or it gets a little... I don't know. That one's a hard one. I had a one through 10 abuelas. I'm going to say two abuelas on the classic taco. Just two, you know, and we're going to, we might revise it at some point. If you like, if you have an idea for some a way I can scale tacos, uh, whether it's, I was thinking like, maybe like, maybe less not less than 10 maybe just do six or eight or but i don't know i tend just there's a round number so we're gonna that's a two abuela taco you know but if i say a place is like my abuela like that's that it's good enough for my abuela that's like a perfect 10 that's like a like 11 
That's a, like 11 taco place. If it's like, if it's like, oh, this taco reminds me of my abuela. Perfect score. So we'll look for that too. But yeah, Taco Bell Classic Taco. Uh, I will say two abuelas. Two pretty pissed off abuelas, actually. If I was to think about it, not they're you know, like if you came home and they would make in because I don't know if you know anything about um, grandma's making you food. They want you to eat as much as possible. And I only took two bites of that. And also they put a lot of love in this. And I'm not saying Taco Bell doesn't. I mean, they I mean it was very nice staff over there. And I don't want to do I don't want to make anything too negative because the whole point of this is also not only sharing and having fun and looking at different taco uh, places, but also supporting small business. So um two abuelas, standard taco. I would say, like I said. If you want a kid to be in, it's it's the it's the idiot's guide to taco. I know that sounds harsh, but it's like it's there's no way to fuck up that taco. Like you got a corn shell, cheese, lettuce, and beef. Pretty standard. So happy with that review. Now we're gonna go to the Doritos Locos Taco. Usually my camera uh, person would be helping me out. And but they are uh, gone. Like I said, this 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 is just a starter episode. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think. If you agree with me on that on that review or not, and I, I will uh, uh, you know take it under consideration. But also, I know what I like. All right. So this is Doritos Locos Taco. There you go. It's kind of orange. I don't know if you can see that in the light. And uh, standard stuff. It's got a little bit of I put a little bit of fire sauce on this one. So let's check it out. Automatically, way bigger an upgrade. The guy said this is his best seller. I definitely can see why. The shell's a little saltier. The beef's a little, I don't know, everything just kind of gels in. I think it's like, what it reminds me of, it reminds me of when um, they started putting cheese in the crust for Pizza Hut, not to be like, Oh, look at this guy. This like, yeah, I'm I'm the fat guy of of, of uh, fast food innovations. Like, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the uh, uh, Garrison Keeler of talking about fast food stuff. So, uh, way better, I would say. If I'm gonna judge it on on a Taco Bell scale, definitely higher than two abuelas, but still not as good as a taco made at a taco place, like a local taco stand, taqueria place. I would say Drills Locos Taco, 3.54 for Abuelas. Yeah. It's, it's not fantastic. And that seems a little high. It's maybe for the first episode. Maybe you will look back at this and be like, man, I way graded that way too high. But it's everything you want when you order a taco. It's, it's cheesy, salty. Uh, it's got that spice with the, with the, the you know, vinegary uh, Taco Bell hot sauce. I think it's good. I think it's it's it was. I'm glad I saved that one for a second. I think it was good. Um, I hope I don't get my uh, Latino card taken away from reviewing Taco Bell. Moderately high. I'm not gonna go one. You know, like one. I feel like those ones is like it's like cardboard or like styrofoam tasting. Like oh, that's not gonna. You know, I think two and three point five is a fair score. So. That's my review of Taco Bell. Uh, we'll be back next week with actually, I'm going to be in a um, taqueria. My first review in an actual taqueria. And we'll be outside. And I hope you look forward to it and really appreciate you listening to this one. And uh, thanks so much. Until next time. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment about where I should go on my next video. I want to make sure I go to all the favorite spots in the Austin area. So if you have a taqueria that I should visit, make sure you let, send me the address and let me know. And then you'll see it in an upcoming video. Until next time, bye-bye.